this is painting with a brush. Very fast, wet, and very fluid. And it's how, just how quick would that be? <laughs> I have been drawing all my life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 51. <laughs> um, uh, two minutes. Fantastic. Each one's different. And I, I was in New York, yeah. and I did a, a series. I went to life drawing classes in New York, and I haven't actually been to life drawing classes for like maybe 30 years. You mean recently? Yeah, recently. You've been taking lessons? Yeah, I was ta took some lessons and I gave some lessons. Um, you know, it's just as like a exchange. Mm, symbiotic. Thing. Yeah. And it was fantastic. I realized that um, all the time for years, I've been drawing my own body, but my body as it was like 30 years ago, I hadn't actually moved on with how my body is, the fat, the rolls, the, you know, the different things, the weights or whatever. The model was so svelte and so amazing and she had the most, that most incredible skin and she was so toned, you know. And, and I was sort of, when I was drawing her, I was thinking, please give me some baggy flesh, please give me some curves or something. And she was so svelte and so tough, you know. And it made me re and when I looked at the drawings of her and the drawings of my, uh, myself, I actually saw this, you know, like, saw myself with the real truth as well. I believe this is the real coup de grace, the whole, mm. the whole show, because this is tapestry. Did you do any sewing? Yes, I did some. And so all, show always, me where you sewed. I don't, can't exactly show you which bit, but I, I did do, I did do the, some samples, and I did some sample sewing on each piece, because as, as the sewers sew, they have to get how I want it to be sewn mm. and it has to emulate my my brush marks mm. and if it doesn't then it goes wrong because is... what it's brilliant because it's like you've actually got really got room to mm. move you know yeah. it's like there's some real energy behind it and because the stitches can be really big there's this sort of robustness yeah. as well I think I did the writing in 2006 in the background yeah. and then the drips maybe in 2007 and then and I have a number of really large you, you've canvases. You've even changed your idea of which way up it is. Yeah. Because those drips yeah, are going went the, the other, other way. way. Yeah. It's made out of two limbs. Yeah. Two spread eagled yeah. legs, a woman's legs. Yeah. And there's some. Is this birth? Yeah. But also, what the birth is like to another woman. To another woman. Yeah. To this woman. Yeah. Uh, I, that's, that's how I. That, that's how I see it. You said you're 51, so you're past giving birth, and I'm wondering whether it talks to you about not ever having given birth. Yeah, but I think I've given birth to myself. To your creativity? Yeah. What's interesting is it, it was clear from the beginning you could draw, you could paint, you know, you really were what any of us would accept as an artist. But we were also confused because you were wild and, you know, the rest of it. And in a sense, now you've become CBE, sort of member of the establishment. This is not an establishment show. That's not an establishment picture. No, I'm not an establishment person. The establishment's catching up. You know, policemen are getting younger. The Prime Minister's definitely getting younger, etc., etc. You know, it's and just. And you, you become time. a Tory. It's not that like I've become one. It's just that when if I put down a list of all the th fundamental things that I need to do or want to do. That I, I align myself more with that party than I do with Labour at the moment, and also with the Tory party. The upper echelons of it are much fairer people, much wiser people, and much more liberal people than, say, the backbenchers. I'm not talking to them. I'm talking about a new future, new way of thinking. So, so you're not thinking about UKIP or anything, because that's where those backbenchers no. seem to be drifting. <laughs> and I hope they drift as far as possible. Um, back to my painting, yeah. Back to the painting, yeah. <laughs> At the heart of this show is love. Yeah, I'm very loyal as a friend. I'm very good as a friend. But when it comes to that total love of another, I'm, I'm not very lucky, really. And I'm not that good at it. You know, I'm really good at this. And being good at this and, really, and being really passionate but about this, exactly, you lose... You're very evidently passionate. Yeah, but you lose... Love is about passion. Yes, I know, but I love this. And sometimes this gets in the way. It really does. This Wait, is this, you, this is yeah. you, this is you, because here's the little tummy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the fine breasts, <laughs> and the good knees. <laughs> yeah, exactly, all my best attributes, yeah, <laughs> I'm so glad I've still got them going for me. Yeah, but this, this obviously, this, this figure is almost like, you can't, it looks like it's in pain, it looks like there's some kind of ecstasy, it looks like, you've got, yeah. it's just like, ah, oh, this is what the excitement. I've, I've made my two seminal pieces, I made the bed, I made the tent, you know, I'm there, my name's there, it's not going to go away, but 
I do know this is my future, it, no matter how small or insignificant it may seem to other people. Both, both three-dimensional sculpture and the gorgeous gouache work. No, you go my, on painting. My gorgeous hands, as well as my knees and my breasts and my tummy, I have these hands and that's what I have to work with. <laughs>